What's going on guys? If you stream on Facebook Live using OBS, today I'm gonna show you the best settings that will actually help you get the best quality out of your live streaming and at the same time help you avoid any crashes or any problems with Facebook Live platforms. So let's not take much time. Let's actually go to this page by Facebook and I'm gonna show you what you need, obviously, all the requirements by Facebook. And at the same time, we're gonna do it in OBS. Now, as of now, Facebook Live does support 1080p and 60 frames per second however if you're not a gamer and you're not part of what they call level up and managed partners all right you're not gonna be able to access full hd 60 frames per second now for average people or users other people who are not part of that group you're gonna be stuck with 720p 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second now if you do some sort of action gaming kind of fast movement that requires 60 frames per second you can go ahead and actually do it however if you are an average streamer like me maybe streaming your content just going live talking about tutorials or tips or depending on what you're sharing or maybe singing or sharing something all right you're gonna be okay with 30 frames per second that's gonna take us to this tab right here where it says the requirements for 30 frames per second now you're gonna need the resolution of 1280 by 720 the video bit rate ranges between 1500 and 4000 kilobits per second to know which one or what number you're gonna pick actually you're gonna have to go ahead and go to google just type in internet speed test so you can test your internet speed so i'm gonna go ahead and actually run mine to show you just to give you an example of what you need of course the most important part that you're gonna need is gonna be your upload speed because it's the part of your internet that's pushing the information from your actual computer to the web or to the facebook platform so as you can see as of now i have 48 megabits per second of upload speed the rule is actually to try to use half of whatever speed you have because you never know someone else may be using your internet at home so you want to leave yourself some headroom all right but for now i can actually use up to 20 four megabits per second bit rate what that means is i have plenty because all i need is only four megabits per second maximum according to facebook so now i have obs open and what we need to do is we're gonna go to settings the first thing that we need to do we're gonna go to stream and for stream again you have settings for facebook live all right this is the facebook live kind of default settings but you can actually ignore that part again if you want to make it simple you can go ahead and actually choose facebook live all right however we're not gonna do that we're gonna go to custom and we're gonna leave it that way for now all right i'm gonna show you the rest later on so what we need to focus on now we're gonna go to video and then as you can see we have two options here we have the base canvas and then we have the output resolution now the base canvas depending on the monitor or display that you're using you're gonna use the same resolution as the monitor that you have so if your monitor or your display is full hd 1080p then you're gonna go ahead and use 1920 by 1080p which is gonna be by default most of the time it's gonna be there now if you're using a 4k monitor you're gonna use a 4k resolution again depending on your exact monitor resolution that you're using that's why you're gonna type in here now for us because we're using a 1920 by 1080p that's what i'm using screen or base canvas is gonna be 1920 by 1080p if i was using a 720p monitor i would go ahead and actually to choose 1280 by 720p all right so this has nothing to do with what you're gonna be sending to facebook now the next thing we need to look at is gonna be our output resolution now for the output resolution we're gonna go ahead and actually choose what facebook wants us to use which is 12 80 by 720 right as you can see you have so many other options but for us this is what we need because that's what facebook likes the rest you can leave it here now for the common fps of frames per second we're gonna use 30 now before we hit apply we're gonna go ahead and actually go to output now when you go to output you have two output modes you have advanced and then you have simple all right now 
we're gonna be using the advanced one all right and then we're gonna try to follow everything that facebook requires all right so what we need to do is we're gonna go to the streaming tab obviously we're not recording and then we're gonna go ahead and leave everything here for the encoder if you have a dedicated graphics card most of the time you should have one so you're gonna go ahead and choose nvidia nvec h264 you don't have to do anything here on the rescale output you can go ahead and actually go to the rate control leave it at cbr shouldn't be a problem now for the bit rate remember we have between 1.5 to 4k kilobits per second so we're gonna go ahead and actually take the max because our internet speed can actually support Support it now if you have a poor internet connection depending on your upload speed you can actually play with this just remember the more you send the better quality that you're actually going to have so we're gonna use the max which is 4k kilobits per second of course for the keyframe interval for this one we're gonna actually because facebook requires between two and four all right so we're gonna go ahead and actually type in two seconds and then for the preset again you can go ahead it says slow for good quality personally i can say slower and better better quality this is gonna depend on your computer so if you're using maybe a slower computer you can actually use medium quality but for me I, I want better quality maybe not the highest but i want the best right you can go ahead maybe try slow and do some you know experimentation and see what looks good but for me better quality should be good all right so that's pretty much it i don't have to play with any other settings in here all you need to do is you can go ahead and maybe check audio a little bit as you can see it says audio bit rate 320 we can go ahead and double check on facebook see what it says remember everything you do make sure you hit apply so you don't lose anything hit okay and then we can go ahead and actually check facebook what it says for audio bit rate you need to do 128 to 256 all right do not exceed so well whatever we just did is wrong we need to go ahead and make sure everything is under 256 so you can go to audio maybe use 160 should be okay and hit apply and we should be okay now for recording we're not recording so we don't need to mess up with that the streaming everything looks good and we should be okay so we're gonna do a quick test on facebook and see actually if everything works so now we're gonna go to my page that should be open right now and i'm gonna go hit the live button go live and of course i'm gonna choose streaming software as an option for the video source and what we need to do is we need the stream key and we need the server url all right so we're gonna start with the server right and then we're gonna go ahead and go to obs settings and then go to stream and then the server url is already there by the way okay and then i'm gonna go ahead of course hit okay and i'm gonna go back to my facebook page and then you need to go to the streaming key all right by the way you should hide your stream key because if someone gets it they may actually stream on your page for me not a problem because i'm gonna reset it so you can do a reset and facebook is going to generate a different key all right but i don't want you to do it because you want to keep your facebook page safe right so i'm gonna go ahead and actually copy the streaming key of course and then go back to obs hit settings and go to stream and then i'm gonna go ahead and paste the stream key here and then hit apply and hit okay so now it's time to actually hit start live streaming here in obs and then as of now i should have a feed coming from obs into my facebook page as you can see now the image is actually there and the quality is actually on auto but what you see here as you can see it's kind of low quality by the way but what you see here is not what facebook is actually showing to the viewer that's what facebook says okay so the preview is not the same as what the viewer are actually going to see so 
you should be sending a good high quality stream to your viewers of course we are not live but if you were going to go live you just go to add your title description and you're gonna have this go live button and you're gonna be able to go live but as you can see the stream looks really really good uh, i don't have any errors because usually if you we didn't mess up something back in obs we would have some errors and facebook's gonna tell us so of course i'm gonna leave a link down below to the requirements depending on what you want to stream if you want to stream 1080p or if you want to stream 720p 60 frames per second i'm gonna leave the link to the requirements from facebook but other than that remember you can also stream and record your stream at the same time like record a high quality copy of your live stream back in in OBS so if you want to repurpose your content or if you just want to record without going live that's an option as well so if you want to learn how to do that and actually use the best settings in OBS I'm gonna make a video for you and I'm gonna link it at the end it should actually be here but other than that I'll see you guys on my next one take care